Hello, today I'm going to be showing you uh, part two of my little Lush Museum behind me. And, um, you know, I don't have any makeup on, I'm doing my hair, I've got this radial t-shirt on, but I told you guys that I would do this on Sunday, and it's Sunday, and like I have to do it right away because it's Super Bowl day, and pretty soon it's going to be way too noisy for me to do this, so I thought, do it right when you get up. So, so okay, so now I'm going to show you uh, the next three, four, five cubbies in, uh, in the Lush Museum here. So we'll start, uh, we, we did the top and we did the first three cubbies yesterday. So now I'm going to move over here. Okay, so we here did we go. up here and this and this and this on the video number one. So now moving over, uh, this is the cubby that has my uh, Lush Gorilla perfumes and uh, the ones that I really like anyway. And so um, we've got the Gorilla Perfume 2 series and the Gorilla Perfume, some of uh, the Gorilla Perfume 3 series and this one. I've got one Gorilla 1 down in various places. Um, he. Lush, the owner, Mark Constantine, and his son, Jack, are perfumers. His sons, Simon and Jack, are perfumers. And they've come out with what they call their Gorilla Perfumes. And these are um, really, uh, really cool perfumes that are complex and uh, pretty interesting. And so let's start with Seekum Girls. They made a lotion called Seekum Girls as well. Um, but this has frangipani and jasmine and tuberose. It's really, really nice. Very fragrant and sweet, this one. Very floral, very sweet. And then we've got Euphoria. And I love this one. That's the one, um, my poster is Euphoria. And I love, love, love Euphoria. It's kind of uplifting, as the name suggests. It's got sage and rose and pedigree. Now these bottles of Gorilla Perfume, they, these square bottles, they don't have sprayers. So um, they're dab on. Or sometimes what I do is I have these little um, vials. They're two mil vials and they have little sprayers. And so I have a little funnel and perfumery stuff. So I fill the um, samples with these and then I put them in my purse. So. I don't have to carry around the bottle. And then this one is Furs. And a lot of you will recognize that um, Lush recently, in 2015, made a bath oil at Lush Oxford Street in London called Furs that a lot of us um, love. And it's so cute. So it's a coconut and mimosa and neroli kind of a scent. And that series are, is the bug. And I like the bug quite a bit. It's very different. Um, you know, it's not for everyone, this fragrance, but I find it to be wonderful and fascinating and strange and and nice. Um, many of you have been following me here on YouTube for a while. Remember, I had a bath bomb that looked like a splat. Um, and I have a video demo of that here on my YouTube channel. Well, this is the perfume that they made that bath bomb with, that limited edition bath bomb. And basically, when you say the bug, he he's meaning, the creators are meaning um, the kind of bug that um, spies with technology. Uh, they call those bugs the equipment that they use. So um, this perfume, you know, stands for the technology age and and the negative side effects of, of all this technology and cameras everywhere and, you know, potential for a 1984 kind of uh, vibe there. I love it, so that's why I got a big bottle of it. Next is <clears throat> one of my favorites in the Gorilla 2 series is Sun. And um, a lot of you will recognized from Lush Oxford Street. Um, we all bought uh, some of the bath oils that they had for a limited time only on the website uh, called Sun. It's a coppery gold glitter ball and that's the perfume that it has. 
in it. This is more of a cologne than a perfume, and so it doesn't last as long on, on my skin as I would like. Again, these are non-spray bottles. They're, uh, you know, dab, what I call dab bottles, and um, love the sun. Love, love, love. Also, they Lush made a bubble bar a couple years ago for Mother's Day called Wonder Woohoo. It's like a gold triangle. It's supposed to stand for Wonder Woman's crown, and that was made with the sun fragrance also. So then next we have, next we have Flowers Barrel, and uh, many of us who bought uh, the Oxford Street London exclusives on the website the one day they were, um, the one day they were being sold, uh, remember the Flowers Barrel bath oil, which is literally one of my favorite bath oils, and uh, it's the one with the petals all over it, and Lush also makes, um, a shampoo called Blousey. It's a it's a shampoo that they sell, and it has the same flowers barrow scent. It's also in that series, Gorilla Two series, is the Voice of Reason. Okay, and then also in that series is Devil's Nightcap at the new Oxford Street London Superstore that was opened in two thousand and fourteen or fifteen. Um, they sell they sell a soap. I think they sell it online too, um, called Devil's Nightcap, and it's a a brown, dark looking soap, and it has the fragrance of this perfume. And I have a piece of that somewhere here. It has like moss hanging off of it and stuff. It looks kind of spooky in the store. And then let's see. Also in that oh, in the one Gorilla series before that, we've got the smell of weather turning. And um, Again, referring to Oxford Street Superstore, Lush has another bath oil, the, the bright blue one it called Oil on Troubled Water. This is the perfume that um, they use to make that. Okay, moving on, we've got uh, in the Gorilla Series 3, um, series of perfumes from uh, late last year and this year. And then we've got Curbside Violet. I did a review of that here on my YouTube channel, and it smells like violets, and I love this, and it's it's a green, green liquid. We're almost done with that one, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then there's All Good Things from this latest Gorilla Series 3, and here's President's Hat, <clears throat> and here's Dad's Garden, Chamomile and Honeysuckle. Lush has a new solid shampoo out that came from Oxford Street, but they're selling it online now too, so anyone can buy it. Um, it has the scent of this chamomile honeysuckle dad's garden, and uh, I have a video of that shampoo here. I love it. It's really pretty. I think this is the, one of the pretty ones. And, uh, oh, here's the, <laughs> here's the, um, the Devil's Night Cap Soap I was telling you about. <laughs> And let's see, and then from, from Oxford Street still is Uptown Funk Body Spray. And uh, I like it. And then we've got from Oxford Street 2543. And actually, Mark Constantine made this one for his son's wedding. And I did a review of it here on YouTube, but I gave it a 5 out of 5. Okay, so that is the Gorilla Series 1 and 2 perfumes um, from... Lush UK and Lush Oxford Street in London, and um, so there are a couple more that I have that I'm noticing aren't here, so I think I have those somewhere in the other individual cubbies. So if you have any questions on any of these, let me know. And now we're going to move over to um, late 90s Lush or early 2000. As you know, I like to keep... Um, some of the boxes from the gift sets, like the all sorts of soap one. And so this is an older one here. Um, I would say maybe this is from 2001 or something like that. And it's called Instant Karma. And it's uh, inside, this empty now. Inside was, I think, a, a Karma perfume and a dusting powder. And um, I just kept the box because you know, it kind of looks real retro and kind of cool. And then 
uh, the bath bomb next to it. It's scented with the Lush fragrance, which is for the most part the Karma fragrance, but this bath bomb is called the Lush Bomb. Initially when Lush first started out, their uh, color scheme were green and yellow, and that's why it's a green and yellow bath bomb. And um, it has the scent of Karma, basically. Um, although there was a separate perfume called Lush Perfume and a separate one called Karma at one point. So it is a, it has a tiny difference in it. I have the perfume, the Lush Perfume here somewhere. Let me go find that. But, um, you know, that just reminds me of that same kind of green and yellow kind of time period um, when I first kind of started, uh, when I first discovered Lush. And then keeping with the Karma Lush theme, here's a Karma Pyramid here. It's a bath melt. It's all gold and glittery. So um, their Karma range had uh, a lot of pyramids, pyramid-shaped products with the Karma scent. So it had like a pyramid theme. And then this is, this is a gift set here from 1999 or this is from 2000 and um, it's called the bubble wall I have another one behind it called the soap wall and um, if you notice that's kind of kind of like a, a microcosm of the, sh the way the shelves look <laughs> it's kind of that you know square square cubbies and stuff and um, Lush used to sell these as a good way to, uh, as a good way for people to get samples of things. You know, um, sometimes we walk into Lush and we don't really know what we want and we wish we could try um, a little bit of the, each bubble bar just to see what we like. So they used to make little slices, uh, little thin slices of bubble bar and put them in this lovely gift set. And you could pop them out and, and use them. And this is an old one. Um, as you can see, I wouldn't use it, but I just kind of have it sitting there because it's so cool looking. This one has Bathos Bubble Bar, Psychedelic Bubble Bar, Happy Birthday, Aura Suavis, Amanda Pando, Blue Skies, Another Blue Skies, Creamy Candy, and Flying Saucers. And that's from... 29 High Street, Cole, England. So, yeah, the Amanda Pando is along with the rosebud in the middle. Isn't that cool? And then, like I say, there's, it's called the soap wall, and that's another sample gift of soaps that were available way back then. Naturally, I wouldn't use these soaps because they're <laughs> too old. Uh, so we have Banana Moon, Sea Veggie, Alkmaar, Red Rooster, Flower Market, Icon, Quinquirama of Nineveh, Figs and Leaves, and Karma. Okay, so now we're done with that cubby. So now we drop one level down. And this is another, um, another cubby that I have, uh, you know, some stuff that reminds me of, of that same time period, uh, early 2000 for Lush. And uh, here's a Lush Manufacturing Factory Tour um, magazine, a pamphlet, and uh, when Lush flew me from the United States to England, um, one of the things that they gave me was a factory tour of their, you know, where they make all of those goodies that we love. And so uh, they gave me one of their, this, this pamphlet that explains each department, the, the place where they make the bath bombs, the place where they make the soaps, etc. So I, I, of course, wanted to display that. And then, uh, so here is a tote, a Lush tote bag from long ago with the uh, green and yellow Lush logo. And... Um, I have a couple of things from that same time period that were being sold in the stores then. There, there was Happy Hippie Shower Gel, which is a throwback to w when they first began. And let's see, one of my favorite old bubble bars, it's called Psychedelic Bubble Bar. It's a forum favorite. 
and um, what else here? Back then, they were also selling Back for Breakfast shower gel. These were all remade real recently in 2015 um, uh, by the Lush Kitchen online so that we could buy them on a one day only basis. And then also being sold in that same early 2000 period was Tramp shower gel. This goes back to cosmetics to go days. Lush Kitchen were also selling these lately in 2015 on a one time only basis. And it also being sold at the same time when I first discovered Lush was Happy for Sad. And uh, I have reviews of all of these shower gels here on my YouTube channel. And um, here was a, a Christmas gift. It's a Rudolph Christmas gift. Um, and he's got like a, a green angel shaped bath bomb with the scent of Ava Bath. Um, so there's the tote. Oh, and then, yeah. Wait, and then I also have very early, early 2000 or 1999 is this thing called, it's called the Smelly Sock. <laughs> there's the, oh, there it is. There's a label of Smelly Sock. Oil-based fragrances that need to be tested on the skin to be appreciated. In this gift set is the Lush Perfume. That's the Lush Perfume I was telling you about. V Perfume. Floriate and Excelsis perfume, Magi Musk perfume, and Karma perfume. And they have a little little vials with some, some hand hand painted gold leaf uh, little initials on them or whatnot. Let's see if I can see if I can get one of these. And here's what they look like. So this one has a gold M because this one is Magi Musk. And, and that's the uh, the Lush perfume I was telling you about um, that this was made made from. So, yeah. So you can see they have a Karma perfume and a Lush perfume. All right. That's the Smelly Sock for Christmas 2001. And also here is a gift set. Uh, the Love Spell gift, and it's a hand-drawn um, cardboard box, and inside it, it was a, this is a newer uh, Tisty Tosty, but inside is a Tisty Tosty bath bomb, and there's a big spell, uh, spell on it, so you can create a new love spell, and uh, I just love this, and uh, I just keep it for decoration because it's so pretty. And on the back it says this gift contains one tisty tasty and it looks like it's 2001. Yeah, that's what the date next to Dan's I think that's what it says is the date. So, I love that. And then moving over some shower gels that I that I love and I'm using primarily right now, got in rotation. I've got large and small, so I'm using the small ones first, of course, but Prince Charming for Valentine's Day 2016, Lord of Misrule shower gel from 2015, and Yummy Mummy shower gel from 2016, shower cream, excuse me. And uh, so yeah, those are my favorites right now and I'm using those uh, a lot, so. I bought a couple of bottles of each. And then this cubby has a shirt called Party On. It's a t-shirt. Um, that's from like 2004 maybe. And um, it's this cubby has on the, on the bottom of it is this lovely knot wrap with these pink and red and purple flowers. And, um, and then there's a... Uh, there's an iron on uh, happy days from lush oxford street and um and it, these are some soaps from uh, lush oxford street this is birdie soap both of these are called birdie b-e-r-t-i-e -E. they look like all sorts of candies and um that's all we have in here. Here's this is a, a bubble bar. Um, it's called.
called Mumpkin and Love, and it's from Lush Japan. It's a, a pumpkin. It's kind of like the, the little mumpkin or the pumpkin bubble bar that I have in this Halloween cubby, except it's a pastel pink and purple color, <clears throat> and it has a lovely smell. And um, I'll show you that sometime. I'll, I'll do a review and a demo of this, and I'll type real soon for you and take some photos, too. And so that's it for that that one. Uh, the next has more perfume, so that's going to take longer. So I'll save that for the next video. And thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and a like. Uh, press the subscribe button above. So um, that way you'll be notified of when I upload new videos, which I do a lot lately. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you on the next video.